contender for the heavyweight title from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Sonny Liston. Commission. Al Sherman, Chairman, Morris Klein, Vice Chairman, Lou Gold, E.D. Latzman, Fred Aronson. Physician in attendance, Dr. Alexander Robbins. The timekeeper is Jim Levinson. Counting for the knockdowns, Scotty Lang. The judges are Gus Jacobson and Carl Gardner. The referee, Bill Regan. In this corner, weighing 206 and a half pounds, the challenger and former heavyweight champion of the world, Ingemar Johansson. In this corner, weighing 194 and three quarter pounds, from Rockville Center, New York, the heavyweight champion of the world, Floyd Patterson. One. 
On the right, Johansson, 206 and a half pounds. Patterson, weighing 194 and three quarter pounds. Six ounce gloves, 10 point must in the scoring. For the first time in heavyweight history, the mandatory eight count is in effect. In other words, a man knocked down must take an eight count. You just saw what uh, Johansson had practiced on crossing that left hand, the long left by Patterson. Patterson's left ineffective, as was Johansson's right. Ladies and gentlemen, the most important thing happening now, as you see both fighters, will be for them to rest and to shake the cobwebs. Patterson down twice, Johansson down once. And in both cases, it was their best punch that put the other man down. Johansson's right and Patterson's left hook. The exact styles that they're noted for, showing why they're both great heavyweight fighters. Round two is coming up. 16,000 fans here at Convention Hall, Miami Beach. Round two. That right hand of Patterson's was Right at the rib cage, the center of it. It appears Patterson has cleared himself of the effects of the knockdowns. Johansson's eyes look alert and bright once again. Johansson with a short chopping right. Johansson's knees buckle and Patterson sits. A slip.
Neither fighter here in round two has been able to get back to his customary style. And they are throwing caution to the wind and not being careful. A glancing right hand. A minute to go, round two. Neither fighter is marked. No cut. Thirty seconds, round two. Ten seconds. Ingemar Johansson, who was down only once in the first round, managed to get through round two, and their defenses appeared in round two as though they must have after each of these fighters had about five professional fights. They became headhunters. Johansson is a power hitter, of course, with the right hand and has to try for the chin of Patterson, whereas Patterson, who usually tries to get inside and throw body punches and then a left hook, had become a slugger in his own right. Round three coming up, as you see, Johansson is unmarked. Round three, about to begin. caught a punch. Johansson now on his right eye has a cut. The first cut of the bout. Johansson with his back to us. It's cut in the eyebrow over the right eye. A slip. Patterson. The cut in Johansson's eyebrow right in the center. It is bleeding. Two minutes left in round three. A right hand body punch. Patterson making the mistake of going right into Johansson's right hand. He has been wide open as you have seen. Minute to go. Round three. Punch was short.
40 seconds in the round. Ten seconds. Johansson now cut under the left eye, and it is beginning to swell. Here is Floyd Patterson, Cus D'Amato, his manager, talking vehemently to him now, as he has made many mistakes. Was able, however, to land one right hand to the body that really hurt Johansson, another right to the head, is going to cause Johansson's left eye to close because it's starting to do it right now. Johansson has a cut in the right eyebrow as we await the start of round four. You probably noticed that both fighters, as a result of the early knockdowns, appeared to be tired in that last round. Ten-second warning. Now there is a coag coagulant, Vaseline, on the left eyebrow of Patterson, so apparently he has an abrasion at that area. Ice bag has reduced the swelling under Johansson's left eye. They have closed the cut in his right eyebrow. And now Patterson's left eye. A mouse has formed under it. Johansson back with that left uh, jab, trying to open up Patterson. And Patterson still is slipping that left hand over his right shoulder, leaning into the right hand of Johansson. Two minutes to go, round four. Missed. Johansson now beginning to leap, copying uh, Patterson's style. Trying to throw a looping right hand instead of straight right. Minute round four. Chin was open, as you saw, and Johansson tried to hit it. That one hurt Patterson. Ten seconds, round four. A pair of tired heavyweights here at Miami Beach, Florida. Although both fighters have swollen areas, under their left eyes, they appear to have full vision. The cut in Johansson's right eye, you see the ice bag on his left eye, sustained the work that was put forth by Whitey Bimstein between rounds three and four and did not reopen 
during the fourth round. Both boys were shaken up in the fourth. Now it's the fifth coming up. This was the round in their last bout when Floyd Patterson regained the heavyweight championship. Johansson winning his heavyweight championship in their first meeting in round three. This now round five. Of the two, Johansson has the better left jab. He is helping to keep Patterson at bay so he will not start those unusual combinations. Two minutes left in round five. Now we're beginning to see some good defensive work by Johansson using both hands to block punches. Use the elbow there. The cut over Johansson's right eye has not been reopened. One minute, fifth round. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Well, neither of these two fighters have gone 15 rounds in their careers. Five rounds have been completed, so at the start of the sixth, that'll be the farthest that they've gone against each other. We're in Johansson's corner, as you see, as Whitey Bimstein is working over the cut in the right eyebrow, which had been reopened in the final 20 seconds of the round. Incidentally, Johansson, in the last round, obviously was trying to protect that midsection and trying to catch his breath. He is breathing heavily in his corner. And now gets set for round six. Neither fighter was able to further damage the areas around the left eye.
on Patterson's left eye now, really beginning to puff. Two minutes to go. Round six. Looks now that Patterson may have about uh, half vision from the left eye as the area beneath is puffing up and closing it. Is Patterson faking an injury or what? Minute to go, round six. They are both tired. could determine where you're watching this on closed circuit television because both fighters were extremely tired and the champion looks weary and I'm sure happy that it's all over with. His left eye, the eye of the far side, had uh, begun to close and it may have been that he was fainting an injury in that round waiting for Johansson to come in, give him that opening that he needed in order to put him down, which he did. So it is a similar pattern in the finishing round of the last fight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in a bout that started the first round with two knockdowns of Patterson and one on Johansson, we get now the official ring announcement from Jack McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes, 45 seconds of the sixth round, the winner and still champion, Floyd Patterson. Floyd Patterson. Now the fifth is championship, and here is Howard Cosell to interview him. Champion again. They were talking about the controversial end of the fight. Do you think Ingo was truly down at the count of ten? Well, Howie, uh, it's not for me to decide. That's for the referee. And I don't know what Ingham or how he felt about it, but I would rather not give an opinion. Hey, good All right, Floyd, follow, what happened in the first round? He caught you with the rights. Go me up, Brennan. Oh, yes. Uh, I didn't think that he would use it so early. He would come right out and throw it. But like I said before, uh, Ingham is a very, very good fighter. I think the odds of 4-1 to were way off. Because as you can see, I came very close to losing this fight in the first round and a couple of more times when he caught me with the right. Was there a time when you actually fell close to the end or did you keep your strength after the knockdown? Well, after the knockdowns, I felt groggy, much, much more groggy than in the second fight. 
but like I said before, uh, uh, Ingemar is a very, very good fighter, and I think this fight, he will make the Swedish people proud of him, as well as the Americans, the way he took his stance. Lloyd, the inevitable question, what next? Sonny Liston? Well, Howie, uh, as of now, Sonny Liston is the number one contender. I've always said that if there is another man out there that can really honestly beat me in a fair and square fight, as much as it hurts, I'd rather see him with the title than myself. Again, Floyd, our congratulations. You showed a marvelous fighting heart coming back the way you did. Your mother's in the ring and wants to see you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Floyd Patterson from the ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you just heard from the champion, Floyd Patterson, father of two daughters, and a man who I'm sure shows signs of the two first round knockdowns that he sustained. Here at ringside is the former heavyweight champion of the world who retired undefeated, Rocky Marciano, from whom you'll hear in a few minutes, as well have an opportunity to review that knockdown, which came at two minutes and 45 seconds of round six. A large core of newspapermen, photographers, and reporters from all around the country were here covering this bout, and we hope you enjoyed it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's watch the videotape playback of round six in which Floyd Patterson knocked out Ingemar Johansson to retain the World Heavyweight Boxing Championship. And joining me here at ringside, Rocky Marciano. Rocky? Hiya. We're going to watch this again. Did it appear to you, Rocky, that both boys during the round had uh, pretty much full uh, vision from their left eyes? Yes, both, uh, both eyes, uh, both Ingemar and uh, Floyd's eye looked like they were puffed up. And uh, they could have had trouble seeing all the punches. Do you feel, Rocky, they stuck to the defenses they had sort of set to use after that uh, hectic first round? I thought uh, Floyd was sort of uh, trying to um, uh, sucker Ingemar in there as he was going away after being hit. He seemed to just keep going back, back, back and wanting Ingemar to leave. Or she did that in uh, the second round in their last bout, as you recall. Yes. It's uh, undoubtedly a lot had to do with the fact that both were extremely tired at this point. Yes, I believe both boys were tired. Of course, that, man, that third man in the ring always has a difficult job. Especially a title fight where all the eyes are on him. One mistake, they all know about it. This is the point now, Rocky, you believe yes, he was... Yes, yes. Uh, notice how Patterson just keep going back, 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 and not really set for anything um, too sudden like. There was a, a wide left hook, which not, was not a good punch. Ingemar's very strong in there. The added weight helped him, you think? Yes, it did. It, it helped his punching power, and he was able to uh, hold Patterson off there quite a bit. Rocky is a former champion. Did you see a lot of openings? It seems like there were a lot, a lot of openings, but of course, sitting at ringside, you always get that impression. I, I don't believe there were that many, as many as this seem by just sitting here. There's the punch, it's there it is. right in the back of the head, and it really stuns a man. There's a mandatory eight count here in Miami Beach. Unusual for a heavyweight Yes, that's the out. first time I've heard now it. Now there, Johansson seemed to be getting up. He looked like uh, at the count of nine that he was on his way up, his knees were off the ground, off the canvas. And for Billy Reagan, the referee, it was a call that he had to make, and he made it. And uh, you fans saw it. And Rocky, it was certainly a pleasure to have you here with us 
on videotape and watching again uh, that crucial and final round six. Good, I've enjoyed it.